Hello, what's up YouTube? Photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try and in this tutorial I'm going to be using this image taken by Mutema Creations and I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out. He also creates the same content that I do on this channel and you can learn a thing or two from his YouTube channel. So check the links in the description of this video so that you can check his channel out. So I'll show you basically how to process your images in camera Raw. so i've been getting so many questions about me doing a tutorial about my pro process or what i tend to do or my workflow within camera Raw and what i do to the raw images and you can see this is an icon raw file as you can see the extension right here it is in nef and taken with the nikon d750 so right now i'm in my interface of the camera filter so basically my workflow doesn't really change that much when it comes to processing the basic adjustments or correcting the lighting issues within the images so what i tend to do i start with the highlights right here and i take the highlights there. and you can see that cools down or it makes the image a little bit solid then i also do the same for my whites I take that down so your workflow may be a little bit different because the reason that's why I took the hairless down is because I wanted to get more detail within what she was putting on right here and taking down the whites even got more details in this outfit right here so after I have done all that I come to my blacks and I simply take the blacks slightly down I don't take it all the way down just add a little bit of contrast to the image by taking the blacks down so after i've done all that i just come to my shadows and open up my shadows just like that and you can see the image now gets a little bit brighter so what i'm going to do, i'm going to come to the contrast and add a tiny bit of contrast to the image around five and that looks okay so after doing the basic adjustments I come to my clarity and add a tiny bit of clarity of around 3 or 4. So 3 is going to be fine right now. And what I do next, I come to my vibrance and I slightly add a little bit of vibrance because I want the image to pop after I've been able to process it. So a vibrance of around 2 is going to be enough for this very image. So after I've done the basic adjustments as you can see, Let's just say a quick before and after. This is the image before and this is what we have right now. So after doing the basic adjustments, I come all the way down right here to where it says my color mixer. So basically under color mixer, we have few <coughs> saturation and luminance. So basically what is hue and what is saturation and luminance. I'm just going to first of all explain to you this and i'm just going to start with luminance luminance is more of the brightness or darkness of a specific color so you can see when i take the red zone it makes the reds in the image darker and taking up the slider you can see it brightens up the reds within the image so in order to reset i'm just going to simply double click on the slider icon or on this icon and it's going to reset the adjustments so basically when you're taking the luminance slider down or towards the left hand side it darkens a given color and when you take it towards the right hand side it brightens up that color so i'm just going to reset that so saturation is more about the intensity of a given color or how much of a given color that you need in your image so if at all for example we target still the reds because this is more of a dominant color in this very image that's why i'm referring more to the, to the red color so if at all you take the red slider up it is going to increase on the intensity of the reds within the image and taking it down is going to remove or desaturate or basically reduce on the intensity of the red color within the image so that is saturation for you it is the intensity of a given color within an image and basically hue is a change or shift in a color so that it can either look 
like the color on top of it or beneath it within these colors right here so let me first of all show you what hue is all about so when you're hewing a color towards its right hand side you'll be making it look like the color just below it and when you're hewing the color towards the left hand side you'll be making that color look like the color on top of it so let me show you what that is in practical terms so if at all i'm to hew the oranges towards the right hand side i'm going to be making the oranges more of a yellow color and if at all i'm to hew the oranges towards the left hand side i will be making the oranges look like the color on top which is the red color so basically that is what hue does so after understanding those small or simple terms we're just going to start color grading depending on what we want to achieve in this image so for this case i feel like i want to even out the skin tone you can see in some areas we have some tiny bit of red color within the skin so I just want to slightly make those reds look a little bit orange in color so in order to work on that better we are going to come to the hue option and we're going to come to the reds so like i said we want to make the red color look a little bit orange and that is going to slightly reduce on the intensity of the redness within the skin tone so I'm just going to take this slightly up up to around three and that is going to fix the magentas that all the reds that were within the skin tones so after doing that i'm going to come to my oranges and i feel like the orange slider or the oranges in the image are a little bit intense or they are too much so i'm just going to simply take the oranges towards the red the red the left hand side and that is going to make those oranges look a little bit red in color and that is all so i'm going to come to the luminous and under luminous i feel like i'm going to really brighten up uh, the yellows by taking it towards the right hand side and that is going to brighten up the yellows within the image so i'm just going to do a slight bit or a subtle bit so i'm going to come to the reds because i want to slightly darken the backdrop right here and i'm going to move it towards the left hand side and that is going to darken the reds a bit in this very image just like that so after doing that i just want the image to pop a little bit more so i'm going to come all the way down to where it says calibration and in order to make the image pop more i'm going to come to the blue primary and you can see when you play around with the slider it is going to add either magentas or even add greens within the image so i'm just going to add a tiny bit of magentas just around negative one will do for this case and that is going to make the skin tones look a little bit more on the natural side so basically uh, this is my workflow within camera and i tend not to sharpen my images because it, they look a little bit very weird so i usually leave the default sharpening that is going to be provided to me by the camera filter or interface so let me show you a quick before and after for the processing of this raw file within camera and how and what we have been able to achieve by move, moving those sliders from one area to another and just look at what we had in the before and what we have right now before and after and when you feel like it is a little bit dark or underexposed just come to the exposure and simply brighten it up by taking the exposure up so basically this is it for today's tutorial and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating